All right, Grand Rising, y'all. Um, it's been a couple of days since I made that last video. Um, a lot has been going on, and that's the reason why I haven't been able to make this video. Um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna explain to you real quick about Cheap Freight. Cheap Freight, as everybody knows, is not a good situation for anybody involved. Um, so don't do it, you know what I'm saying? Know your cost per mile. Um, and after you know what your cost per mile is, <clears throat> make sure that you um, book your freight accordingly. So that's all I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about poster truck. So poster truck is um, basically putting your, your vehicle on the load board for Amazon, excuse me. And what you're doing is you're putting you in your vehicle's specific requirements or specific uh, specs, the, the length of it, the weight that you can carry, um, the, the, the city that you wanna go to, the city you want, city you wanna start from, city you wanna go to, um, how long you want the post to be up there, um, the minimum dollar per mile, and the minimum uh, payout that you want from from the from the uh, the route. So, um, what to fill out, what not to fill out, or what to fill out, should I say? Um, you need to fill out as much as possible. Um, I wish I would have known that. Um, I think someone said it in another YouTube video, but you know, sometimes you gotta learn from your own mistakes. Um, so. Um, one thing I didn't do is I felt, well, I didn't fill out the destination where I wanted to have a destination. And the thinking behind that was, um, not putting a destination would leave me open to other possibilities. Right. Um, but that's bad because now, um, when you book, when you do post a truck and they assigned you a route, you either have to take that route or you can cancel it and it affects your performance. So that, that's the bad part about poster truck is they will assign you pretty much whatever having to do with your, your specifications uh, or, your, or, your, or the things you put on poster truck. And if you didn't put enough information, they could give you anything and you either got to take it or take it on the chin. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, I just did my first poster truck. And the reason why I'm doing this video and um, I didn't put a minimum payout. I put a minimum dollar per mile and I didn't put a destination. And so, and I didn't exclude. So, and I, and I said to myself, oh, you also are able to exclude three cities that you don't want to go to. And um, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do it. I knew, I knew what you could do it, but I didn't do it because I was like, nah, you know, I'm gonna leave my options open. Dumb. Um, so I left my options open and they gave me something that was, I think I got $3.43 per mile. Um, <clears throat> but the payout was like two hundred and twenty-three dollars or something like some craziness. Some basically, I did a, I did a, I did a, um, I did a favor for Amazon, and I'm not in this business to do favors. I'm in the business to make money. So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up doing a favor for Amazon. Um, I could have took it on the chin and just affected my performance, but I was like, I'm too early in the game to be doing all of that. So I took it on the chin, and this is actually post um doing the um doing the load uh for eight hundred dollars when i was i was just like yeah yeah let's go so i'm feeling juice i go and post a truck and then i get that <laughs> so it's ups and downs of trucking man it's, it's really ups and downs of trucking so i just want to you know put y'all on that make sure you study that post truck before you submit um one of those um and then also make sure that you're specific on the dates that you want it to cover is it, whether it's Friday through Saturday, whether it's Friday through Tuesday, Saturday, through, whatever, whatever days you want to make sure you're specific on that. If you're not specific, they will decide for you. Um, it was one other thing I wanted to talk about. So no cheap freight, no poster truck. Oh, coming early to Amazon. Very important, specifically to certain Amazons. So some Amazon facilities, uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a, a sortation or fulfillment or whatever, whatever uh, uh, Amazon it is, but uh, come at least an hour. They might not let you in until 30 minutes before you're supposed to be due there, but come at least an hour because there might be a really long line 
as you see in my previous videos. You're gonna be a really long line, and if you're and if you're right on time, you're gonna be late. Just wanna let you know that the app has to recognize that you have uh, arrived at the facility for you not to be late. And if you're not close enough to the little uh, detector for your app, it will not recognize that you're there and you will be late and you will be marked late on your Amazon application. I mean, on your Amazon app. And then you gotta deal with that. So come early. Um, I try to do at least um, an hour early. And it's crazy that I'm telling you to come early because today I just got off a load. <laughs> And I was supposed to be there at two o'clock in the morning. And I woke up at two o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Looked at my phone like, nah, it's not two o'clock. Yep, it's two o'clock. And I had to put in there in my app that I was delayed. And I had to put that it was, you know, obviously driver error. Um, the comments were over driver overslept. You know, that's kind of what happens, man. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and I also want to talk about this, too. And I'll talk about this in another video and I've heard other people talk about it, is um, having an employee's mindset, owning a business. Um, it's very important that you get out of that employee mindset owning your business. Um, Cause I'm gonna give you an example. When I woke up this morning, I was real close to like, you know what? I'm too late, so I just won't go. It's all good, I just won't get the money. But from a and, 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 and from a personal from a personal employee mindset, that could be okay. You could call in sick. You know, I remember doing that. You know what I'm saying? Call in sick. I mean, it just happened like a couple months ago. But <laughs> you know, uh, you call in sick. You know, not go. You know, you might get you know talk to. Hey, you know, make sure you come to work. Or you might you know something as far as getting suspended or something like that, or lose your job. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm gonna tell you. As a as a as a business owner um, mindset, you have to think about it. It's a contractual agreement. Excuse me. And that contractual agreement says that if I sign up for something, I'm going to do it. My business is going to do it. Not me specifically, but my business is going to do it. And so we have to change our mindset, y'all. Um, getting into this to this uh, owning your own business realm. Um, Cause I was, man, I was close to being an employee again mentally. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll just call in. You can't call in sick. You already signed a contract. The contract says you're gonna go to work. And if you don't, they're gonna, that's a breach of contract. And now y'all can you know, get, you know, lawsuits or whatever, you know, whatever comes into in play with that uh, whole situation. I don't wanna find out, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just wanna, you know, own, own up to my contract and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get my money uh, whether I get up late or not. But I'm the whole late thing, that's not gonna happen again. Um, so yeah, just want to talk to y'all about that. I know it's been a long video. I just, I just had to get all of that out. I was thinking about it as I was driving and all of that. So, um, yeah, 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 man. Hit in the comments, man, for any questions y'all have about any of the things that I talked about, either being early to Amazon or, um, post a truck. If you have any questions about that, you know what I'm saying? I'm more than willing to do a post a truck like tutorial. Um, so if you guys want to do that, see that, go ahead and put it in the comments. If I get enough people that says they want, they want it, I'll do it. Um, and, you know, employee mindset with, with a business, you know, don't do that. Um, and also, uh, I, think, I think that's it. I think I talked about one more thing, but I forgot. Um, I'm, I'm actually really kind of tired. I got to get home. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, guys, hit in the comments for any questions you have, all right? Peace, peace. James Backwards. And I'm out. Peace.